Section 5.15 of the Darts Regulation Authority Rulebook stipulates that the toe line of the hockey must be 7 feet 9 and a quarter inches along the floor to a plumb line at the face of the dartboard. 7 foot 9 and a quarter inches is 236.85 centimetres. The rulebook, however, rounds it up to 237 centimetres. The face of my board is 5.5 centimetres from the wall and the skirting was 2.5 centimetres from the wall. So the distance from the skirting to the Oki toe line needed to be 237 centimetres plus the distance to the skirting of 3 centimetres, giving a total of 240 centimetres. I'd been planning on getting some ply or MDF to make my own when I came across a side piece of a wardrobe in my local IKEA's bargain corner. There were a few pieces that would have been suitable, however this was the cheapest one at just £10. The piece was a couple of millimetres over 240 centimetres long and 61.4 centimetres wide. The DRA rulebook says the Oki should be 610 millimetres wide, so 614 is close enough. I levelled up a thin piece of scrap plastic I had with a nice straight edge across it to guide my saw cut. Once the cut was done, I lined up the hinges so they were spaced evenly and test folded the Oki after fitting each of the three hinges. The hinges cost me less than £4.50 for the three. I used a self-centering drill bit, which I discovered when learning about how to hang doors in my home. Just search eBay for self-centering drill bit set. I had previously purchased a four-piece set for about £5 delivered. Once the build was complete, I dropped a plumb line down from the bullseye and put a light mark on the skirting. I also marked the centre of the Oki so I could line them up perfectly every time. The Oki when folded is just 134cm long and slides nicely under the bed. I may in the future hot glue a large carpet offcut I have to the top as bounce outs have already gouged a few holes in the top of it. I hope some of this has been of use to you. Cheers very much for watching.